Clone Rockets will have another familiar face behind their bench is Dan Lambert, assistant coach for the Clone Rockets, uh, signs a two-year deal with the club. Uh, Dan, congratulations, first of all, and um, why did you want to come back? Well, thank you very much. Um, you know, I wanted to come back because I think first and foremost, uh, when you look uh, in the Western Hockey League, there's probably not a better um, organization than the Kelowna Rockets. And uh, obviously, with uh, when I look at the future of this team and, and the decor, um, you know, the future is very bright. And working with the guys I worked with last year, um, it was a lot of fun. And I think... Uh, you know, the sky's the limit as far as what they can what they can achieve, and and that's exciting for me, and that's a lot of fun. So the future is bright. Did they exceed expectations this past year? Um, I I think they did. Yeah. You know, I, you know when you look at the age of the D that we had, um, you know, at the start of the year, and, and there's no doubt that there was a lot of uh, you know young mistakes being made, but that's junior hockey. Mm -hmm. um, but in saying that, you know, when we had to rely on 16 and 17 year olds an awful lot last year, and and uh, I felt that they took the strides that uh, we were hoping they'd take, and you know, both our 16 year olds, uh, Jesse Lee's and Madison Bowie, both got hurt at one point, mm -hmm. which probably slowed down their pro their you know progression. But in saying that, um, by the end of the year, I think they were exactly where we were hoping they would be. So uh, that was very exciting. And the defensive core, for the most part, is coming back to your knowledge. Are you looking to add anybody? Um, you know what? I think the, the biggest asset that we're going to have there is the fact that they're going to be a year older. Um, you know, you think of, uh, you know, Mitchell Chapman, who's going to be an overage. He's going to be a 20-year-old. Um, you know, is is for sure going to help us. He was hurt, at the, you know, for playoffs for us, which which hurt us a little bit. Um, Mackenzie Johnson is going to be a 19-year-old uh, young man that uh, we felt last half of the year last year he really came along. And then you've got your young young guys and uh, Miles Bell, uh, Cole Martin, who you know are, are two very very good players. I think uh, Miles is is a uh, great offensive defenseman maybe you know arguably one of the best ones in the league he shoots it as hard as anybody and we we saw uh, you know glimpses of that last year and I think um, we're looking to for him to have a very big year for us uh, and then like I said you've got Madison Bowie uh, Jesse Lees who are you know going to be a year older a year stronger um, I'm sure they're they understand a lot more about the league and what it takes to be successful it's going to be their draft year so you know they're going to want to have big years and then Riley Stadel who um, played a few games for us at the end of the year um, I think he's going to be a very exciting player for this organization for a long time and then you know there's other guys on our list that have uh, opportunities as well um, Mitch Wheaton is is one kid out of uh, St. Albert that I believe is uh, has as a real good opportunity to to come in here and, and uh, make some noise. When you thought about coming back or signing the two-year extension that the Rockets offered, how much weight on your decision with the guys around you, the coaching staff, Ryan Huska, Ryan Cuthbert, uh, Kim Dillaba? Well, there's no doubt that it had a lot to do with it because um, we spent so much time together throughout the winter. It's insane. <laughs> and uh, I know them better than my wife, I think, at times. So, um, you know, we get along very well. Uh, I think, um, you know, there's no doubt that at times we challenge each other and uh, and that works well for everyone. Um, you know, we're we're constantly trying to better things and trying to do things differently. And, and uh, we have a good relationship and it shows um, on and off the ice I think there's you know um, they're good people and uh, and they treat the players well and that's what we like to do as a staff um, so so that had a lot to do with it I think it'd be pretty hard if you didn't get along with your either your head coach or one of the assistants your better half. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, the Rockets dressing room empty now. It is the off season, but hockey really never stops. So what are you doing now as, uh, in preparation for the season? Well, there's always things to do. You know, we try to keep in contact with the players, um, you know, and, and uh, make sure that they're, they're doing their workouts and everything else. Um, and then there's, you know, schooling stuff and billet stuff that, that uh, fall on my shoulders, um, you know, and, and uh, uh, Ryan Cuthbert does kind of the the hotels and meals and all that. So that's all going to start coming up here pretty quick. So it, it keeps us, uh, it's certainly not half as busy it is, as it is uh, in wintertime, um, but uh, it is, there are things to be done and, and we try to get them done here throughout the summer. Thanks for doing this. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. Nice to see you. Dan Lambert, still the assistant coach for the Kelowna Rockets. Thanks for watching. This is the Ron Water Sports Drive.